Oh, this is literally you'll head to the end of early access when you click on it. Okay. Um. So that's our playthrough. <laughs> I mean, I guess that means we would be done. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Board and sail into the darkness. I vote one. I vote leave. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I think you're the only one on the boat. Yep. See ya. Bye, Kevin. Bye. It would be great if you guys were just on the dock right now. <laughs> like, bye. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> you guys suck. Oh, we're still here. Oh. We're still gameplay. Oh. God damn it, dwarf! What are you doing on Gex Rav? Uh, what? As the symbol glows. Power courses through you. Authority. Authority. Are we still on the boat? Uh, uh yes. Because the background's moving. <laughs> okay, I. So you could <laughs> kill it, or you can do whatever you want. I, I I have to push this guy into the water. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I have to. No wait. Oh shoot. Hmm. What? Um. But the. Okay, he has nothing worth it. He was technically a merchant because he, but he didn't have anything useful. <laughs> it was probably a dumb idea to do, but Ow! just not. This is 23 damage to you. Yeah, it kind of hurt. Uh, Alright, it's just me. Sure would be a shame if they got pushed into the water themselves. It's true. Ooh, there's a chest over there on their boat. So jump to their boat. I don't care. I ain't not giving no shits. Gale, how are you hurt already? Gale? Or uh Will? More I meant Will. I mean I know, it's course of habit, but still. This is kind of cool that we're battling like on boats. It is. Uh -oh. That hurt. Mm. I hope I get a turn. <laughs> well, Balana heals you. Mm. It would be nice. The Drop a what? Word is I mean, you could probably feed. reach them with your wounds. Yeah. Too far for you your wounds? Yeah. It says he's too far. Well, can you just he's like just out of 30. Oh. Then just do a... I will do a second level healing. I mean you can jump over to him instead. That is true. Because that is a bonus action. Now I can cure wounds you. Take cure of your goal. Level one. Um, well, that's level two. Oh. She just she rolled up. Rolled yeah. yeah. Oh. Really? I rolled up. I know. Uh, that's my turn. Oh, oh God, another what is crit. Up with all these crits, seriously. And even when they miss, I get set on fire. It doesn't seem very good to be on fire on a wooden boat. Oh, we're surrounded by water. Can Matt swim? <laughs> uh, I probably am pretty strong. But you're a dwarf. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Aren't they really heavy? They yes, seem like stones. But I'm strong. Actually, they only weigh 100 pounds. Really? And that's what they say. They are pretty dense, but they're also small. You're 140 pounds. He's 140 pounds, carrying over 200. Almost 200. 
did the AC? It's 15 AC. And Will got a 40. Got you. Well, do you know I have any healing potions on you? I can get them some. I have a bunch. I was gonna say, I have a bunch too. I have 14. I have 11. Here. Just. We can split those later, because I can't split them. Yeah. We can't split things if, if it's not our turn. For some really weird reason. Even though it actually is my turn. Bye bye! Scorching <laughs> Ray! You wrote in on. Ooh, okay. That does use your intelligence modifier. Okay. Yeah, they're all bunched up. Yeah, I don't know who would possibly do that, though. Mm. Oh. Mm. Well, if we do that, I might destroy the chest and the things in it. I mean, we don't have to. We just kill the bots. Wow. Come on. That was a 79% chance. And higher the previous turn. Could just silence them all. And then you can get hit and lose your concentration immediately again. I mean, honestly, you might as well. I mean, if you don't know what to do, your wounds on map wouldn't be terrible. Yeah. It would be helpful, but. I don't really have. Do you want a level 1 or a level 2? Whatever Probably you want. Let's see if I roll high, this is. I take you it's better. It's pretty good. I like it. Mm -hmm. I can misty step my way over there. Eh, maybe not. Maybe wait for you, Matt to jump the gap first. As you say, I don't know if you want to use a spell to get over there if you don't have to. Like, also. like can I dip my weapon in the fire that you guys are on? Uh, there's fire on the ground. Right next to Matt. There you go. Now I'm on fire. I mean, you're doing pretty good. Uh, did someone die? Oh, what happened? The closet. Oof. Alana's dead. Ooh. What the hell did they hit us with? Um, what? Eldritch Blast. Oh. Arrow of Roaring Thunder. Aw, oh, you left the blueprints behind. The mysterious Artifact! Oh. You're dead? dead? Yeah, dead. she got knocked into the water. <laughs> yeah, Gail's just like, oh, you appear to be dead. I'll continue miming this book. Like, you're my best friend! You wouldn't think, like, Shadowheart would come over here and be like, oh no! Oh. I was expecting a cleave there. We do have a quick save. 
Ooh. I'm just gonna go back to the fight and watch you guys. <laughs> I can't fast travel. I still have the stuff in my inventory. I, except for the um, quest items. Yeah. I'll just watch the fight. Stop with the th the thunder. Okay. This. That might work, but I'm going to pick up all these items. Is it all the items like that I found? Yeah. I hate that spell. What? They use them for some reason. That spell also uses a bonus action. What? What spell? It's um. Eyeball. I will. <laughs> oh shoot! Where's eyeball go? Hold on, is he back at camp with you? He is. He is back. Yes. At camp. Okay. I mean, oh yeah, he's on top of me. We have one. His eyeball's somewhere here with us. I'm not seeing it on the map. Holding down ult, I don't see it. Well, no more eyeballs. That was a pretty good turn. I got two in one turn. Good. A push and a smack. Yes, right. Guys, ah! any, any help? Please, hello. No, we're in a cutscene first. As you oh, cross okay. the dark, it brought me back to a cutscene. You remember. You'll just be dead in the camp when we start the game. Your harrowing escape from hell and the constant threat. Wait, is that Alana in the cutscene? Yep. Um, yes. Your for a healer brought you to a druid's grove, and the refugees sheltering there. You remember their gratitude when you stood by them. A hag promised she could extract the parasite inside you. Did we just pass through some physical objects? you didn't take her dark <sighs> Possibly. Deal. What is that thing? One evening, a devil came courting, insisting that a cure was impossible. He said he'd come again, soon enough. Your reverie is interrupted by an underground fortress appearing in front of you. The symbol of the absolute is clear, even in the dark. Is it? You I was gonna say, what is the symbol of the absolute? We've never actually seen it. Mind I, I think it was just that we asked the question in the when we were in the Goblin what Temple. I think what you asked what the symbol was. I think it was that maybe. For you? Amid this flurry of questions, you feel something else deep inside you: a hunger, a lust for blood. Uh oh! I'm turning into a vampire. Soup. An actual cutscene. All right, so I want you to clean up all of this, okay? What the fuck, Gargoyle dude? with a good curse over there. Explosive, explosive, 
And then over the... Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the end of the early access content. We are still under development behind me here, so you can't go through. <laughs> but congratulations, very well done on getting here. Thank <laughs> Studios, I would like to thank you. Like that, right? Yeah, oh, that's why I said, what I the fuck? Was a little, I thought that was a little too, like, realistic. Where you bought the game, and let us know what you thought of your experience so that we can learn from it and use it to improve hey, the game. Hey, let's get Let's get going. All right, so I gotta go back together with this man here, continue to develop the game, but see you soon, because we'll have much more content for you right. as we continue to integrate feedback and so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to sing the song, right? Mm. All right, all right, let's do it. Row, row, row your boat gently down the <laughs> Okay, so... <laughs> I love it. That's a great way to end the early access development. <laughs> now... Uh... What was the scene where we were supposed to see one of the tieflings, like, playing on a guitar? Huh? Like, that oh, was... that's back... That was that's a scene way, that they fixed. That's way back in yeah. the tiefling camp, uh, the druid camp. Oh, I did, know where that is. I we, found that in my oh, other playthrough. We just missed it completely. Yeah, we missed it. Oh, okay. Oops. Yeah, I found that in my other playthrough. So, well, uh, I guess that's it then. Yeah. It was fun. It was. Guess we don't need to worry about the save problem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that does bring up the question I was going to ask you guys of whether or not we were going to make new characters when they made an update, which the save problem sort of answers that question. Hmm. Well, I guess that brings up the idea of new characters. Do we want to make new characters as in new classes and everything, or do we want to play the same characters just restarting? Um, I'm okay with either, but... I guess it depends on whether or not we, um, whether or not we get new classes. Yeah, I mean, I would really love to try Druid or Monk when they are released, but I have a feeling that those might not be coming out for a while, mm -hmm. so... I uh, Well, Druid actually should, because they have Druids in the game that function mechanically like Druids. Yeah, but they just might not be releasing the actual player class well, for a while. They, they could. They could. No, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm just speculating. <laughs> yes. Okay, so there's that. Um, how, what do you guys think about the game? Things you liked? Things you, that could be improved? Well, I mean, we've obviously gone over a lot as we talked about it. Um, as we played the game, it's hard to remember it because <laughs> there's like... 30 hours worth of gameplay there, and then obviously we missed a bunch of it. Yeah. Um, so, we just watched uh, the Hag fight again. Uh, episode, like, 21 or something. Yeah. In which we got to learn about activating spells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a nice tutorial that to have. Yeah. Would be a nice tutorial to have. <laughs> be very nice. Um, they, it definitely needs some better tutorial systems. I, I know we skipped a lot of tutorials in the beginning, but I don't feel like that was one we skipped. It might have um, been, but it yeah, it may, just, yeah. just weren't paying attention. It could have been. I don't... Yeah, I don't know. To, um, I mean, we we figured things out in the end, but there was some problems in the beginning. Um, it does want you to... It feels like the game wants you to long rest a lot more often than we did. Yeah. They should explain that a little bit better. Yeah. Also, I do feel like this game kind of has a little bit of the same problem that um, uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 does, where if you're playing multiplayer and nobody wants to necessarily play the pre-made characters, you lose a lot of the story if you're playing the, you know, your own custom characters. Yes. Yeah. 
each custom character you have means one less pre-made character, so you lose story with those pre-made characters. Right. Um, Especially I with wish... the fact that there's only five, and they have very clearly defined roles, meant that realistically we only could choose one or two of them. Yeah. Like, we weren't going to double up on clerics or tanks. Yeah. So, I mean, I wish we, you know, I wish that, you know, they could come up with a way of doing that better. Um, yeah. So, like, even just things where either the player story, the um, ally storyline will still happen, even if they're not in your active party. Yeah, that would be nice. Um,. I mean, we can all communicate telepathically with each other thanks to the mind worms, so there's no reason they we shouldn't be able to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, I mean, obviously, you know, there's a decent amount of bugs that need to be fixed, but yeah. overlooking the fact that it's early access, um, I'm assuming a bunch of those, you know, all those bugs are probably going to be fixed. And some of them um, are still funny. Like, when you randomly grow three feet into cutscenes. <laughs> those are pretty fun. Um, yeah, those are pretty fun. Um, it was interesting that, you know, really the only big lore character we saw was Volo. I don't know if that's just because we missed other ones, or if uh, they're just not in early access, I mean, it, or whatnot. Well, we learned about Karsis. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't expect to see him in the game anyways. Yeah. Um, so now, to be <laughs> fair, he's I, to stone. I haven't yeah. read most, like, a lot of 5e material in terms of lore I'm stuff. I'm more thinking of, uh, who's the guy with the miniature space hamster who's in oh, the other two, uh, Alder Gates? Minsk. Yeah, Minsk, yes. That's that's who I'm thinking of, more of. He'll probably be in that, because he's in the, yeah. he's in the MMO, Neverwinter. Yeah, and he was in the other two Baldur Gates. Right, so. well, but this does take place 100 years, more than 100 years after that. I'm pretty sure he's canonically still alive. Oh yeah, because he's in the Neverwinter thing, which canonically yeah. is happening at the same time, or something like that. It's a very similar time, at least. So, um, that's Although, definitely... be clear, he's not immortal. No, I mean, he that doesn't... time-traveled, but he doesn't know how. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Sounds like D&D. <laughs> I'm not seeing the problem yeah. here. No problems, no problems. <laughs> um... I mean, how long has Bolo been alive? In the well, fact that he's he has still a, like only... he found a fountain of youth or something. I know and the fact that the fact that he's still only like level six, which is like canonically true that he is still low level, <laughs> is kind of funny. <laughs> so apparently, the symbol of the absolute is a skull with a bloody handprint on it. Okay. Okay. Oh, that would make sense why the um, one goblin had that hand print on his face. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, they just did a not very good job of showing that. Yeah. So, it would be, that's I guess another negative. I know I've been saying a lot of negatives, but I mean, this game has a hell of a lot of positives. So, right, which yeah. we generally talked about when we were playing the game. And I could start listing them all. But I've been wanting to get the positive or the negatives out. Yeah. Um, first, at least. Um, yeah, showing, not telling, would be. It does a good job of that overall, but yeah, like there's a lot of good some... instances of their mm-hmm. them. It's like when we rescue Lazelle, for example. Mm-hmm. There's a short bow right next to her, to shoot her out of the cage with. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, that's a good thing. It's like, oh yeah, we need to get her out, and they give you the ranged weapon. Yeah. It's like, that's cool. And they do a lot of things like that throughout the entire series. You know, they put yeah. torches next to exploding things so you can toss them. Yeah. 
but yeah, this, and I mean, the spell thing yeah. definitely needs to be a bit yeah. better. Spells in general need to be clearer on what a lot of them do. Yeah, and I would say they need to rework how reactions work. There almost needs to be like a pop-up to be like, Hey, do you want to use this? You know, I'm fine with yeah. there being like the how they have it now, where you can turn it on or off. Right, but, but like the fact that needs you to be use like, it automatically. Yeah, there needs to be like another level of do you want to use this? Because you might want to use it on a specific person if it happens, or like if they. I, I have a feeling that this is the reason why shield the shield spell isn't in the game yet. Because there's no way you would want that on every attack. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to uh, you'd have to register shield immediate, like every single yeah. turn. Decide if you want to use it. Yeah, and that would have to be something like based on the attack, and you'd have to know like certain things. Well, like, for the shield, you wouldn't have to, for the yeah, shield spell. It would just go. Oh, if you would get hit with the attack, cast shield. But I, yeah. I, I feel as though all the, if they can figure out a way to make it so that you click on the reaction, whatever you, it is, and then designate a target. Where it's like, I want to use my reaction against this person. Ignore everyone I mean, else. I feel like even just like a, a, a little pop-up saying, here's what's going on. Like, Do you want to use a reaction? This is currently being triggered by this person. Mm -hmm. Would you like to use this reaction? Yes or no? That could slow down the game, which I imagine why they don't want to do it. So maybe if they could, put but... like a three or four second timer, where it's like click yeah, I mean... to do it. Otherwise it'll skip automatically. Because I feel like yeah. I never used my shield thing. Your what thing? My, um, exactly. my feet. My feet that I had. I don't remember even what it does because I never used it. It's like I can... Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that with your feet. Yeah, so reactions definitely need a look at. Um, but to be fair, on their part, um, like you were saying, you don't want to slow down the game, so from a design perspective, that has to be rather difficult. Yeah, like it would um, be difficult to make that go faster. Like maintain yeah, the same and speed imagine... and still give control is difficult. It's a problem yeah. that online magic has. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, um, every time someone casts a spell, do you want to respond to the spell? Just, no. Just stop. Stop. Stop asking me. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's one of those things where, because this is a single-player game, it might not be the worst thing in the world. I mean, yes, it is multiplayer with up to four people, but it's not like it's an MMO or anything where right. really slowing the game down is going to hurt you. Um... And then, of and course, obvious, once you use the reaction, you stop getting the notification. Yeah, you can't use it again, so... Um, but, yeah, those are some ideas. Um, I think I started saying it about the spells, but a lot of the spells don't tell you what they do properly. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, oh, here's a spell. What's the duration? Who knows? Uh -huh. And when that spell's yeah. on a scroll, or you only have, like, one or two spell slots, and so you can't really experiment. It's like, eh, yeah. a bit a bit clearer on spell effects would be nice. Alright, well, okay. I guess that's it. Yeah. Um, I, oh, I can't use a to-be-continued thing at the end of this video. Yeah. Or can you? Do, do, do we just stop recording? <laughs> To be continued? To be continued? Don't. Question.